chalk pastel colours I've chosen for my Aurora. I'm going to use this scrap paper to make some stencils. So I'm going to make some curvy lines as I tear. So these will be the stencils for applying the colour of our Aurora. I'm going to make a few of them. Looking at all my pieces of paper, I like this one with the gentle curve, maybe for my first one. Choose your first colour and with a heavy hand, we're going to outline just below the tear. So you want to put a lot of pigment on there so it's actually really chalky and you can see the chalk dust. Use your other hand to keep the paper firmly in place while you apply the colour. And I'm changing over to another colour. Now it's time to create this aurora effect. Using one finger, briskly move the chalk dust upwards in a vertical motion. When you finish, very gently peel your scrap paper stencil off your black paper, trying not to smudge anything, and we have our first band of the Aurora. To avoid a mess, you might like to wash your finger between stencils. Now keep going with your Aurora in the sky until you're happy with it. that chalk dust that's exactly what we want the more dust the more color that we'll have on the page try out different stencils until you're happy with the next shape I like this stencil, but I don't want so much black in between, so I'm going to put a half a stencil up here, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm only going to add colour to about the middle of the page and fade it out. Use a clean finger to remove any smudges or excess dust.
of your colours don't show up enough, you can always add a little bit more. This isn't the shape I want, so I'm going to tear it into a shape I do like. And then checking my fingers are clean enough. So you could stop there, it's a nighttime scene so the rest of the foreground might be in darkness. Or you could use chalk pastel to add some other landscape effects. In this part of my picture I'm going to create the sea. So I've got some purple and some blue and I'll use little bits of yellow to look like reflections. some curves to show the ripples of the waves. Instead of rubbing the chalk upwards, I'm going to rub this side to side. like this piece of purple here it looks especially glowy so I'm going to do some more thick bits of color This has a really soft look. Here's my finished work. 